We learn the hard way. Black, white, or red. And it ain't always something we want to know. His name was Hulbert Amico. It means alligator king. And he was a chief of the Creek Nation. He was what we all was once. Free, happy, innocent as a still wet newborn babe. a prisoner. Chased him clear to Oklahoma before we caught him. On the way back, we stopped at a boomer camp. You know, pig farmers. This is where the whole sorry mess began. City. His people got 60,000 acres just to sit in there, waiting for you to start plowing. You'd think he'd wear a big headdress or something. Boomers, can't they let these engines be? Those are Yankees, boy. Don't Yankees stand for all that's good and true? Four years after the war, Corey, you're still shooting off Virginia firecrackers. I'll forget my heritage more the day you forget yours. Well, you better find a mirror someplace. You come a long way from being Master Willow Hill with a big plantation house, them crystal and silver and all that. And the slaves. Don't forget the slaves, boy. 100 slaves, just like you. Like I used to be. Well, let's say we both come along. The only thing that puzzles me is I don't understand why you and me are still riding it together. Of course, me and you, Corey, we the back ends of the same coin, head and tail, like it or not. You got a lively imagination, boy. I'll have that much of you. Rose flowers, just like they grow up in Washington City. Magical flower, the rose. Do you believe in magic? This creek engine land. White man no belong here. I'm an engine agent. Krauss is the name. And you're a chief, aren't you? I could tell that. I could tell that by the way you walk. Why don't you climb up in here, chief? Climb up here and try this seat out. Come on, get in. <laughs> Eight weeks to catch old rivers here. And in two weeks, we'll be in New Orleans. $600 for 10 weeks' work. That's good business. I guess I know what my business is. I just think how that would be. Driving around in this red cart, looking out at the Braves, and all them Braves just wishing they was you. And think about all them squaws. All the squaws just a squirm, and every time you drive by. <laughs> Now, these are white men here. They're farmers, Chief. And they need a little more land. And you got so much land, Chief, that ain't even being used. Now, if they could farm that land, and you would get rich. Go someplace else, white man. Creek Indian has sold land before. But I'm an Indian agent. I'll protect you. Why don't you just step in this saloon here and have a drink of whiskey or two? I know you can handle it. You are a chief, after all. Boys, give this man a drink here. Give him, yeah, here. Give, give him a drink. There you are. Drink up, chief. Now, uh, these boys here have been talking about naming this big city after somebody famous and grand. Maybe even an engine. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. yeah. What's your name, chief? 
Albert Amico. Albert Amico. How's that one sound for you, boy? Ain't no worse than Oak Mulgate. What's it mean? Alligator King. Alligator King. Uh, Drink up, Chief. Now, this here is a lease. Now, that means you always own the land. The white men pay you for using it. What do you think about that, Chief? Uh, <laughs> white men working the land and paying you for it. <laughs> Think about riding around that big red car, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> now you just uh, you just sign here anywhere. An X will do just fine. Yes, sir. We're gonna name this big city after you. We're gonna call it Whole Butter Town. Some town. Three tents in a pigsty. Keep your boy quiet. He ain't mine. Lincoln Freedom. Indian. the stream about a mile yonder. Just as soon you didn't muddy this one up. That redneck had a ring. Got you too. What they got is a prisoner. I'm going back there tonight. Alone? If I have to run off some of their stock, maybe set a tent afire or something. Collect rivers while they're running around. If we run into trouble, we ain't got nothing to shoot with. Even if we did, I don't know if I could pull the trigger. Then you can't be seeing too good. I mean to get him. We'll get him back. This is the Creek Nation. They're civilized Indians. But they got a regular country. They got a uh, capital. Government police, it's all guaranteed by the United States government. I'll bet they'll take our problem real serious. Well, that creek's a clan chief, he'd take that serious. If we turn them loose on that put them out agent, we'll be lucky to escape with our hair. Our bounty was stolen on his land, it's his honor. We'll get our prisoner back. Yeah, I'd feel a whole lot better if we had a red buggy to give him. thousand acres and this is all they farm? That's all they need. We come to see Hubbard Amico.
council house. Tobacco. Creek Indian. Come from Georgia. When I was baby, we come Oklahoma. We walk all the days, all the nights. I hear it's called a trail of tears. Many die. Over half. Creek Indian tame. We was attacked by white men, boomers. Why they do this? They stole from us, our prisoners, our guns too. I know your laws do not allow robbing. You have lawmen. This man, cat dancing. This man, light horseman. Engine police. Why was man your prisoner? Real bad. We was taking him to New Orleans to hang. Men have chains on hands, have chains on feet. <laughs> No chains here. Little crime, we whip. Big crime, we kill. No jailhouse. Hey, Chief, why don't you just lend us a couple of guns and we'll take care of this ourselves. It is bad to have gunfighters here. White men beat us and robbed us on your land, Crete land, Hobo de Mico. These white men would have robbed you too, but they were afraid. Your medicine's too strong. You hit a sweet spot with that one. We ask spirit. Chief, why don't you just give us cat hands? We ask spirit. Rivers hung by the time he finishes singing and sweating in there. What they believe in. No wonder this will be easy to slicker. They ain't all that way. This was Kiowa land. You'd see a lot of hellish boomers down at that tent camp. Well, you lived with the Kiowas two years, and you know the difference between Kiowa and these creeks. Why, these creeks are civilized. Don't fun them. They lived in the south. The civilized tribes, the creeks and the Cherokee, were the finest warriors of all. They began to walk on the white man's road. They had houses, fields, and schools for their kids. They did fine, too. They kept the old laws, honor and truth. That's how the white man won, with treaties and sweet talk. The engines grew soft in their board houses, and their kids grew fat. Then once, when I was little, Master had me working in the tobacco field. A Cherokee lived next to that tobacco field. 
Sometimes I sneak over there and play with his fat kids. He had a good farm. So when the rest of them went to Oklahoma, he stayed behind. He stayed behind, singing and sweating and talking to the spirits. I come up one morning, and his house was burned down. He was laying in his sweat house, hanging on to his medicine bag, like it was going to keep them from bashing his head in. The others was just laying around. Let's go. I go fetch men alone. Mister, you ain't going nowhere alone. Now back off. What about the light horseman? The law. I am chief. I go alone. Yeah, well, we'll just sort of ride along, keep you company. I do this alone or no man go. <laughs> Asking for a feather, you can join the tribe. You should have gone with it. Honor or no, you should have gone with it. All but Amico, chief of the Creek Nation, was as drunk as any man could be, still know his name. You do what you want, but you bring shame on that man for his people to hang your hair on a pole. How much shame has he got left? He just sold his people out. Ah! We're going to be called Alligator King! Hey! <laughs> he tried it his way. Now I'm going to do it my way. Find him until just after dawn next morning, sleeping off the bad whiskey, not knowing I was gonna wake him to a bad dream. Wake up, Jim. Oh. Put out a bottle of whiskey, the red sulky cot, and it's easy. A couple of drinks and a little sweet talk, and you'd put an X on your own execution. You signed the paper. You signed away the land, you dumb engine. Oh, they're going to come now. All them crackers with their pigs and their plows and their churches and their laws and that good free life. And that's for them, engine, not for you. What you had was something special. Land, your own place to be. 60,000 acres, your own laws, your own ideas of what's right and what's wrong. My God, don't you know what that's worth? They'll build their houses, get in their crops, and then whip off a new treaty. And then there'll be another trail of tears till there ain't no engines left, till there ain't no place to go. Well, 
I guess you ain't the first one. What I can do? You done done it when you ex that paper. I get paper back. I say, I am chief. You come. You talk. You know how. Don't you know they won't talk to me? They got to. They got to. I am chief. I make you my brother. Then they listen. We get men in chains, too. Brother. It won't work. It will work. Brother. Put these chains on you, Reb. Riding in here, crack of dawn, making deals with these boomers. Everybody's paid, Kraus. Everything's legal. Now all I want to do is farm, that's all. No more killers, no more bounty men, no more colored men, no more engines, no more agents. Just farm. Well, here comes the alligator and his teeth. <laughs> move it, move it, move it. I got our prisoner and I got our gun. All we gotta do is ride out of here. These farmers don't want any trouble and neither do I. What you do? Make a deal with him, boss? There was no loudmouth around to ruin it. What are you doing here anyway? They cheated him. Morning, Mr. Alligator. How you feel today? Kind of uh, mossy mouth. <laughs> Don't laugh at him. Don't push. Let's see what he wants. Morning. Right nice to see the chief again so soon. I come give you card back. But why? That's a gift. It's yours. It's a gift from the people of a butter town. I give you cart. You give me back paper. <laughs> now, chief, we made a deal. I can't go back on my word. These men here trust me. You talk this man. I'll talk to them. This man, my brother. You trading in your hide, boy? Gonna try a red one now? <laughs> Easy. Now you're moving right in, aren't you, boy? Troublemaker's part of my job. Is selling whiskey and robbing engines part of it, too? Now you know engine agents can't give out whiskey. Don't you know that, boy? You've got a complaint, you write a letter into the Office of Indian Affairs. That's over in uh, Washington City. If you could write. <laughs> I told you. You give me paper, you get away land. It's all legal, alligator. You signed off this land for 200 years. Now I'm tired of your blubbering, so take your brother and get. I am chief. You give me paper. Take your car. Go, go on. Get in and get. Sweet. Holy. How far you think you're gonna get, boy? I'm good at running, mister. Running? What for? You haven't done anything. Are you with them? I'm with this prisoner here. The one that's gone to New Orleans. All right, then. Let's go. Where we go? I know a place, don't worry. Well? I'm off to New Orleans. And that's that. Come on. I go to council. They hear, they decide. This is nation. We have law. That's right, Chief. What you need is a trial. Nation or not, these are white men. You think I'm gonna buy off them judges, boy? I don't even know them. You don't have to. They corrupted themselves. I am Chief. I go to council. He's gonna need a witness. He could stay for that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could stay for that.
Sign's good today. You need a lawyer, someone to talk for you. The Creek trial has five Creek judges. Look. Inside. Great chief. Little man. What? He's 90 years old. And look at him. Look at the clothes. Wait a minute. What's Krause doing here? He's going to referee the trial. He can't move in like that. He didn't. The judges invited him. Listen, I'm all for law. But this don't shape up as much of a trial. You'd be better off waiting, getting a U.S. Circuit judge in here. No. In the U.S. court, you could tell them how they got you drunk, how they fooled you. If I am fooled, I tell my own people. Like them? Fancy wagon, fancy clothes, land holdings, vestments in white business. Over to Miko. The council waits for you. The signs are good. Only engines and witnessmen go to trial. I'm a witness. Well, I guess it's up to you, Mr. Corey. trial lasted over five hours. Outside, we waited and listened to the songs of the old one, Katuske, who was born a hundred years before, who fought the white man in 1811, who walked from South Georgia to Oklahoma in 18... did a job on him, all right. But they gave it him a chance to talk, too. i never seen a man talk like that so flat-out plain and honest about how he got greedy for that little red car, how he got drunk, how he betrayed his people, and then how he stepped that knife in that boomer. What'd you say? I told him what I saw. What you want, white eye? What are you talking about? Get away. Go on. Get away from us. Around me, 
put all my pretty things in cover with dirt. This dog. Good dog. You take him. I can't keep no dog. You're gonna just let him kill you? I got two Texas Longhorn beef. One steer to eat when I die. One cow. She got calf inside. Come to sightsee? I got our prisoner. He's all tied up and ready to go. Are you a bounty hunter? Maybe I got something better to do. He's giving away his wives. How many has he got? He's the chief. Three or four, I guess. Eight or nine. So are you coming or not? A couple of days, maybe. They're taking this brother thing a little bit seriously. That's right. Well, I noticed you didn't get any wife. What did he do that for? It's his dog. He do what he want. Boy, it takes something for a man to do that. Go about his business knowing he's gonna get a bullet in his chest. Nice and easy, ain't it? No blindfold or nothing. He just stands there and points where he wants the bullet to go. Well, he's not complaining. Why can't you leave it alone? I've seen a man shove you once, and I've seen what you did to him. Well, if he's guiltless, why doesn't he run? Jamal! You know, that Krauss wasn't entirely wrong, because you push. And that fat man is dead. If you didn't push, he'd be alive today. I give you the prisoner. I give you the money. Now you've got everything. Take it and go to hell. Come on, let's go. on the other. Club. That's the beginning of the plains country. Goes all the way up to Canada. On them plains is where the horse engines live. The Kiowa and the Sioux. They're free. They ain't no white men. Gonna be a war soon. Maybe a couple of years. They're gonna take on the whole army. A regular war. That'll settle everything once and for all. Over the Nico. Over the Nico. They ain't no finer soldier than them horse engines. Unless it's maybe a creep. War fighting not good for Indian. They're laughing at you. All of them. Over the Nico. Your traditions, your laws. Over the Nico. I killed the fat man. He was a land stealer. Have trial. The council. Five chiefs. An old man and four Indians done forgot they ever was Indians. A great chief's death should mean something. He should have glory and honor. His people should sing of his name. How could a Miko, alligator king? What should I do? Run. You should run. Creek does not run from punishment. A great chief riding free with the Kiowas, sweeping through this land with a thousand braves, driving out whites and boomers alike. Making Indian territory really Indian territory. Think of yourself, riding high on your horse through this village. Think of the braves as they envy you. Think of the squaws as they look at you. That life can start in two days. Just north. The law. They using the law to kill you. Use the law yourself to escape. <laughs> Where's the engine? 
engine in your black boy. Back off, Krauss. Back off right now. You ain't no shape to argue, Mr. Hardcase. <laughs> Somebody better start talking. <clears throat> Hubbard D'Amico and your friend have run away. They were seen last night leaving. Well, it's five days to the execution. Maybe they went fishing. Each man has a horse and pack full of food. And Hubbard D'Amico took all of his beloved things, too. This is a duly constituted posse to chase and apprehend, and you're obstructing us. I got nothing to do with him. Am I going to have to shoot my way out of here? There will be no shooting. It will be hard to prevent these men from killing Cahobot Amico. There are six of them, and I am alone. It is important to the Creek people that he be returned for his execution, and not hung on the trail. I got my own troubles. If these men kill Hobot Amico, they will kill the other one, too. That's too bad. But he's a free man. Well, what am I supposed to do, leave him tied to a tree? We keep him in village. Okay. Take him to the village. Even on the run, the old ways. Lord, the old ways. They stuck to him like mud and honey. And for the first time, I began to wonder and be afraid. You put that out. We gotta get out of here. How can we go? We not know what is ahead. I know what's behind us. The posse. Now, come on. Best. I reckon. Use them every day. They dragged the brush to hide their tracks. See, this is a piece of it. Which way to go? Visit going north. Well, come on. Lizard dead. Must have hung herself, huh? A couple of more chats with the spirits and you'll have them. Does he want to get caught? Start? That posse's camped a half a mile from here. I sneaked away while I was asleep. They're talking about lynching him. <laughs> Only him? <laughs> yeah. And I guess you won't win no popularity contest with him neither. No, I guess not. <laughs> Horses, lots of them. Hey, Chief, come on, let's go. Never mind. 
Come on, it's too late. Let's go. Down there, across that creek, other side of that ridge is a river. Think about Indian Army taking white man's scalp. I don't want Army of Kiowas. I want cat dancing and creeks. What have you been telling him? The white men make it hard for my people. Take away our laws. Where was your law when them boomers come and set up their pens? Where was your law at your trial? Don't you know they took your land already? Without a fight. We're gone back. Gone. They'll call your name woman. They'll sing songs about your left and scorn. Go! Chilla, what Chernita, Jamal David, in Sumia. Oh, oh, what say? Wendy, come on. Was Kyle gonna help us? He won't come across the river. Well, it's not our fight either. Hit him! Ah! 
Amico, a great chief. If he do what you want, he have honor. He have squaws. The Indians sing of his name. I want them things. But what do you want? Huh? Farmers want land. The agents want money. Want warrior? You want men in chains, maybe. But you want, most of all, you want me change what I am inside. Why you want that? Come back! My brother, are you? He is my brother. You see what he done to them? He didn't hate those farmers. They just hurt everything in him that's Indian. And that's what he is, you know. He's a Creek Indian. He's got to go home and face that Creek wall. Look at them. You're not like them. You know what they call you? They call you a white man. A black white man. waiting for us back at that Indian camp. And he is worth 600 Yankee dollars. I'm a bounty hunter. And don't call me boy. We learned the hard way. Red, white, or black. Over to Miko. My friend stepped back on his proud road, went back to die with innocent honor. And me, well, I am what I am. And that's my honor, my way. Ain't no one gonna change that, not even me.